Hey folks, Connor from Nice Wheels here. Today we're going to review the Blix Vika Travel, our most compact folding electric bike. So in this review, we'll go through all of the specs of the bike, we'll talk about how it folds, and most importantly, talk about how it rides. So the main thing that allows the Vika Travel to fold so compact is that it has 16-inch wheels. These are going to be the 305 millimeter wheels, and those will be 1.75 inches wide. The fact that this bike has a front hub motor allows it to have a nice, simple drivetrain, so you just have a single-speed drivetrain with a Shimano Nexus 3-speed internal hub in the back. So the Vika Travel has a pretty uh, unique setup because it does have an internal hub in the rear wheel, uh, so that is why they put the motor up in the front wheel. It's not going to give you too big of a change in the ride characteristics, and it's going to be a 250 watt hub motor, and that'll allow you to use throttle and pedal assist. The battery that this bike comes with is a 36 volt 8.8 .8 amp hour battery, and you can remove it just by using the latch under the seat, using your key to unlock it, and you can just give that a good pull. You can see that it's nice and compact uh, and a pretty small size. That's what allows you to fold the bike and uh, put the seat post all the way down to save the most on the folding size. Now you can still use the Blix Vika's 11 amp hour battery and the 17.5 battery if you wanted to, but it's going to affect how the bike folds and not really give you the, uh, the compact kind of design that it's meant to offer. So moving on up to the handlebar, you can see you have these nice ergonomic stitched grips to match the saddle, give you a nice classic look overall. You have your twist grip Shimano 3-speed Nexus shifter here, and that's going to allow you to shift gears even while you're at a complete stop. So if you get to a light, you can just kind of turn that dial down to one and, you know, build up your cadence again from a stop, which is definitely a nice feature to have. You also have these Tektro brake levers up here, and both levers are going to have motor cutoff. So uh, if you do, for whatever reason, need to stop the motor from going, you can stop it with the brake levers and override everything. So to turn on the bike, you do have to press a button on the battery first, and then your power button is right on the top side of the display here, so you can hold that down real quick, get everything going. So to change your pedal assist modes, you have your up and down arrows here. You'll have uh, modes one through four for your pedal assist, one being the weakest and four being the most powerful. You have your battery level up here as well as your miles per hour uh, over on the bottom side there. Now these two uh, up and down arrow buttons do have double features. The top one, is what will turn on your lights, so that'll backlight your display, as well as turn on the front and rear lights that are wired directly into the main battery on this bike. And if you do need walk assist, you can hold down the bottom button and the motor will slowly activate and that'll allow you to push a bike up a hill if you need a little help. All right, so to hold the Vika Travel, uh, you'll first wanna drop the seat post down so you can open that quick release there and let that fall to its shortest point. Tighten that back up again. Then you wanna go to your main frame hinge here so you can just lift up this little plastic lever over here and just pull out on the main hinge. And you want to also undo it from the other end because it's kind of holding both sides here on the frame. So when you have that latch open, you can just swing the whole frame together here. And you want to make sure these magnets in the back get connected. So that's what's going to hold everything together. Then the last thing you need to do is loosen up the stem hinge here. It's going to be just a couple rotations there to get that loose and then the bars are just going to hang out on the side. So now you have a nice, fairly easy to carry uh, folding bike here. It's also got a nice stand kind of built into the frame so that you don't damage your chain ring. So one of the things I love the most about the Vika Travel is really just how easy it is to travel with it. Uh, it's the, one of the lightest folding bikes that we have at 35 pounds and it's incredibly easy to carry with you on a train or bring with you on a bus. For a 16 inch wheel folding bike, it handles really well actually. Uh, having the weight of the motor in the front of the bike instead of with the battery in the back kind of evens things out a little bit. Really the only disadvantage to that front hub motor is going to be when you're climbing hills you might lose a little bit of traction, uh, but other than that it's still a great bike to zip around the city with. The throttle feature is both responsive and really fun to use, and the pedal assist is uh, fairly responsive. You have those magnetic sensors on the crank uh, that are going to get you at speeds up to 17 miles an hour. Overall, when it comes to functionality and value, the Vika Travel is gonna be one of the best choices you can make. At $1,500, you get integrated lights, a really compact folding size, and a fairly powerful electric system that'll make your commute much easier. So final thoughts on the Vika Travel. This is gonna be a great low maintenance setup that's gonna be easy to use, easy to fold, and really easy to take with you on public transportation. If you're already using public transportation as part of your commute and just want a simple solution to take care of the rest of the distance, 
Well, the Vika Travel is going to be a great way to go. Thanks so much for watching our review of the Blix Vika Travel. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, as well as turn on your notifications to let you know when we release new videos.